Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my workshop. The topic that we will be addressing today is the teaching of writing as a process rather than, rather than a product. In this slide we will look at the CAPS outline of process writing. The first stage is the planning or the pre-writing stage in which the format, the style and the point of view must be considered and the purpose and the audience. For example, if you are writing an essay on whether or not sex education should be taught in schools, the audience that you would be writing for would be both students and um, students, teachers, and parents. You need to select the relevant info that would go into such an essay, like statistics, for example, perhaps the statistics of teenage pregnancy. And uh, you need to be careful and selective about the information that goes into that essay so that it strengthens your argument. Then you can use mind maps where you brainstorm your ideas and, and the mind map helps you to helps the student to map out their thoughts and then sequence their thoughts. Then you need to analyze the structure. In other words, what order will you put your paragraphs in? And the mind map more or less provides that as well, uh, structure in the, in the essay so that the student has a sequence to follow and a series of steps to follow. Then there's the drafting stage. The drafting stage is the first stage of um, the writing of the essay. And at this stage, it's just a work in progress. Let's put it that way. The student has to make sure that they start writing mindfully. They need to substantiate the arguments. They need to use their main ideas, and sometimes their main ideas, their dominant ideas, produce other um, sub-ideas, put it that way. So from one main paragraph, several other little paragraphs, several other paragraphs can come forth. Then the first draft must have um, a clear consideration of who your audience is and the topic and the genre. So the draft stage is uh, the next level of the planning stage. So it's pretty much a re repetition by the manifestation of the planning stage. Identifiable voice and style. And um, the drafting stage has to include word choice and phrases and peer review. Peer review is quite a handy stage so that uh, students will be able to monitor each other's mistakes and learn to edit as well at the same time. What is process writing? In the process writing method, teachers take their students through a series of writing steps and methods that show how a text can be produced. Several drafts are produced and proofed before the final publishing. Examples of such process writing methods, process writing What 
what is process writing? In the process writing method, teachers take their students through a series of writing steps and methods that show how a text can be produced. Several drafts are produced and proofed before the final publishing. The path of the writing process is tracked and monitored by both the student and the teacher. Let's look at what is product writing. Product writing is where a model text is given to students to imitate. The teacher provides guidance to a limited extent and oversees the production of the text. Students are exposed to a form of rote learning. Now, when we were at school, I remember my teacher would provide a business letter, for example, and that was back in the day of content learning. So I think content learning is pretty much associated with rote learning and product uh, writing of text. And the teacher would provide uh, sentences or show us examples of sentences that one would use in a job application letter, for example. And then the students would just go and produce the same thing with the exception of the differences of their addresses and whatever other creative aspects they would like to include. Let's now look at the differences between transactional uh, writing and essay writing. What is transactional writing? It informs, persuades and communicates. It's non-fiction writing. It communicates information between individuals or groups. Examples can be found in magazine articles, travel writing, obituaries, business letters, friendly emails, invitations, speeches and interviews, etc. Let's look at what is essay writing. Types of essays can be narrative, persuasive, descriptive, expository and discursive uh, essays. A piece of writing that gives the author's own argument. Examples can be found in a paper, an article, a pamphlet, mini thesis and it can be formal and it can also be informal. This is an example of a transactional uh, text. It is non-fiction and factual. This text appears in a travel magazine. It is about the country of Spain and specifically the city of Madrid. Now, the first uh, part of the process approach asks for the student to plan, for example, what it is that they want to convey about their city. So in this planning stage, they would decide how to gather the information that is most important to be conveyed to the tourist. For example, you will see that the airport transport, the train transport and the bus transport is noted in this piece of information. So the gathering stage of the information, the student would ask themselves, who is their audience? Their audience would be uh, tourists from outside countries, outside of Spain or Madrid. And uh, they would then go into the planning stage and decide what it is that they need to include 
in this information in the transactional text. Uh, the transactional text, I think, is much easier to compile than an essay because it is more factual. It is factual and non-fiction. So let's look at the first piece of information. It says Madrid Airport is 12, 12 kilometers from the city center, which can, can easily be reached by public transport. Take Metro Line 8. There is 3 euro supplement to be added to the cost of any ticket. And the trip takes just over 30 minutes. By train, take local line C1 or C10, which get into the city center in about half an hour. By bus, you can get into town on the airport bus, express or puerto, in about half an hour for five euros, or take the regular city bus routes, 200 or 101. Now, when we look at the revising stage, um, we need to make sure that the information is all correct. We look at the editing stage, everything must be properly, uh, there must be proper spelling, there must be proper sentencing. And uh, when we proofread, we must make sure that there's no, uh, there's no errors in the information. And finally, it must be published in a travel magazine. Discursive writing is objective and balanced. Various aspects are considered. Opposing views are presented. Writing must be lucid, rational and objective. It makes substantiated arguments and it's unemotional and concludes with a particular point of view. Now in the next slide I will be discussing uh, an excerpt from a discursive essay and you will see how these points are operative in that paragraph that is going to be discussed. So it's something that's uh, usually controversial and it has to be objective in its nature. Let's look at how process writing can be taught in, dis in a discursive essay. First of all, we need to consider that discursive essay writing is, raises controversial issues. In this instance, it's the question. Most of the controversial discuss discursive essays, um, the, the titles start with a question. So this one says, sex education at schools, should it be taught? Now this is quite a controversial uh, topic in society because some people believe that such a task should be left to the parents and the religious organizations and the government is of the, the, the opinion that um, such a matter should be the responsibility of uh, the government and it is the right of the child to have access to information so that they could protect, protect themselves. Now looks, let's look at some of the language and the phraseology, pardon me, the phrases that are used in such writing. Let us read it. Accurate, balanced sex education, including information and about contraception and condoms, is a basic human right of youth. So this terminology of human rights is raised and it's a phrase that would be suitable to be used in such a discursive uh, essay. Such education helps young children, young people, to reduce their risk of potentially negative outcomes such as unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections or STIs. Here again we have vocabulary that relates to the topic sexually transmitted infections, STIs, negative outcomes, unwanted pregnancies. So the student has to be taught to develop a sense or an instinct for what kind of sentences would suit um, 
their purposes for writing the, the essay. Such education can also help youth to enhance the quality of their relationships and to develop decision-making skills that will prove invaluable over life. This basic human right is also a core public health principle that receives strong endorsement from mainstream medical associations, public health and educational organizations, and most important, parents. But it is, but is it the job of teachers in schools to educate students about sex, or is it the job of parents? Now you can see that the first paragraph advocates for the uh, teaching of sex education in schools. But the subsequent paragraph, at the bottom you will see that sentence that says, but, the question is, but is it the job of teachers in schools to educate students about sex, or is it the job of the parents? So after the writer writes a very uh, convincing argument that it's the government's job and the right of the student to have access to such information, the writer goes on to pose a question as to whose job it is and so too. So the following paragraphs will introduce discussion from both points of view but usually a discursive essay ends with one um, concluding point of view. So this paragraph was taken out of the essay. I could not put in the whole essay but just to give you an idea of how um, process writing can be imposed on this piece of writing, one would have to plan such a essay very, very carefully because it's going to be uh, something that uh, something that talks about something that's very controversial in society, a topic that is very controversial in society. So the planning stages would require a lot of thinking, brainstorming, organization, organizing of ideas, and so on and so forth. Then the draft stage would have to entail a, um, the first draft where you follow the plan that you've written in, in the first stage of the process writing and you would draw out your first draft. Then the revising would be to see if there's any errors. At this stage I must emphasize that peer review is a very handy thing to use as a method of teaching process writing as well because students pick up the faults that or the mistakes that the classmates classmates make in an essay and then we would go on to the editing stage to check for grammar suitable voc vocabulary suitable phrases and so on and so forth and make sure that the sentences are properly um, set out in a specific order so that it's a, there's a flow in the information and uh, then proofread it so that there's no mistakes and finally the publishing stage. Let us look at the benefits of process writing or teaching a process writing approach. The student gets to use the steps to create a polished piece of writing and it teaches them the discipline of writing that it's not something that just gets produced out of the air. There's a method to it. It imposes a discipline or method on the writing process. It creates confidence in the student because they have a method they can refer to. Let us look at some of the challenges that one faces when it comes to process writing. Process writing to a student poses to be time consuming and uh, requires a lot of commitment. So it's not something that students take easily to. Then there's the issue of the lack of vocabulary uh, and the question of how does one come 
uh, to encourage their students. So how does one encourage their students to search for the right vocabulary? Perhaps it would be good for them to read a lot of articles about the topic before they go into writing their own article so that it will give them, uh, help them to feel empowered in terms of vocabulary and in terms of their grammar skills and in terms of honing their research skills. So these are some of the cha challenges that uh, students face, but it's not something that cannot be overcome because teachers have the power to give their students the right direction and the right encouragement to accomplish the writing of uh, an essay.